So this is how to run PhotoBooth connected in kiosk mode. We've already set up our event name and the folder to watch for incoming photos. Now keep in mind, normally if you'd be using PhotoBooth connected in kiosk mode, you'd have it running on a separate machine from your PhotoBooth. In that case, you'd have to network the two machines and have PhotoBooth connected monitoring the share folder in which all the photos are being stored on your PhotoBooth. If you're an event photographer and using it with an iFi card, you would monitor the save folder for your iFi. Since the folder was empty, we start with a blank canvas. Let's switch to Breeze and we'll take a quick photo. And we can see the photo starts showing up in the grid. So here I have filtering automatically appearing. I can select from color, black and white, sepia, and a couple of vintage filters at the bottom. My custom overlay is here in the corner, and I can always bring up the filters again by clicking that. Closing the photo goes back to the grid. Users navigate the grid by swiping, dragging up and down like an iPad. Now let's go back into the preferences and demonstrate what will happen the next time you run the software. If we hit save right now, it's going to warn us that we've used the event name before and there already are two photos in the grid. If you want to continue using those, hit yes and they will be added to the grid. If you hit no, the photos will be backed up and we'll start with a blank grid. So we'll keep them and hit yes. Now since I haven't changed the monitor folder, there's still two folders in there from the photos that were already taken. So it's going to ask us, do we want to import photos? We'll hit no because we know those are duplicates. What you would use this feature for is if you're starting with a new event and you already have photos that have been taken before you started PhotoBooth Connected and you'd like those to import into the grid, you could do that here. So here we have our two photos again.